When we talk about removal, we talk about the real business who was in the base on the foundation of many of the clinics who are in Spain. Mine was also founded on hair removal 17 years ago. We had the chance to do hundreds of thousands of treatment during those 17 years. We had the chance to test hair removal lasers like Alexandrite lasers, 755 nanometers, ND Jack lasers, 1064 nanometers, diode lasers with 810, but also the new ones with 755 and 1064 nanometers. We have even done the uh, electrical epilation for uh, white hair. So after those 17 years of experience, I can tell you that any of those technologies has a limitation. All of them are good, but all of them has limitation. When we talk about synergy of wavelength, we talk about targeting different chromophore in different layers. So Alexandrite lasers with 755 nanometers and diode laser with 810 nanometers works in the same way. They are absorption lasers. So they go by the medulla of the hair shaft to the bottom of the, to, of, of the bulb and the bulge area. In both areas, we have the stem cells and we need to increase the temperature enough to uh, coagulate uh, the melanin who is next to the stem cells. So Alexandrite and diode do it by absorption. And the YAC laser is a totally different wavelength. It's 1064, much more deeper, much more absorption by hemoglobin. So it's going to target the capillaries, the vessels who feed the bulb, and it's going to collapse them. So when we do both things at the same time, we have the possibility to damage the stem cell in the bulb area by the Alexandrite laser, in the bulge area by the uh, diode laser, and the vessels who feed those stem cells in a deep level by the ND Jack laser in a huge bulk heating. For that, we need a device who has enough uh, power, enough fluence to do it. But at the end, no one of those technology offer us the perfect result that our patient expected. What the patient expect? The patient expect a quick treatment, a safe treatment, a low pain treatment, a low cost treatment, and extremely efficacy. had the chance to test the famous technology from Alma Laser, the Soprano, and we evoluted with them since the first uh, Sopranos, uh, then the Soprano Eyes, the Soprano Platinum, and now we have the Soprano Titanium. We have seen that the last version, the new, just new launch device, the Soprano Titanium, is totally different. We see totally different result compared to any other diode we had tested in this clinic, even compared to the previous version of Soprano Platinum or Soprano Eyes. So how to justify this extreme high efficacy we see. So personally, we justify them by the bulk heating we create. With this large spot and the three wavelength at the same time, it's like to shoot a regular diode 810 plus an Alexandrite laser 755 plus an ND Jack laser 1064. Three at the same time. So we are achieving two chromophores at the same time. Melanin from the hair shaft and bulge, but also the hemoglobin of the capillaries who feed the bulb. So achieving those two targets at the same time, we create a huge bulk heating in different layers. And this bulk heating in different layers and with two chromophores enable us, of course, to have much better results. But it's much better result with much less pain. And it's also with much more speed. It's not just safety, efficacy, and pain reduction. It's also extremely quick treatments to have much more higher revenues for the clinic, to be able to treat large areas in less than five minutes, like the back, like the legs, like the shoulders, like the thorax of a man or a woman. So benefit for the patients, benefit for us in the clinics, benefit for the doctors who feel extremely well due to the fact that the patients are happy with the results without secondary effects and with very, very short treatments in protocols of treatment with very reduced number of sessions to achieve the results expected by the patient.